we will compare between the levels. Uh, we will here we will build a course, I think, with a blended oriented view now. We will need the material and references, the teaching strategy. We need assessment and interaction. Uh, basic level, we will go for a closer look now. What we need here really, the component of online course. Online course mainly consists of the following component. We have here, the first part is the guiding information. And we have the course lessons. In the guiding information, we have the first part, we call it the start here page. It is a web page. We call it start here page. And we have the course guide page. And uh, we will see le later the component of these pages. For the course lessons should have objectives of each lesson, the objective of each lesson. And we should have the materials of each lesson, electronic materials, activities. We should have activities for each lesson and we should have assessments. Really, our review is conformed to the quality matters standard. We will get to know them after reviewing the quality matters standard. What is the quality matters standard? Uh, quality matters standard overview. What is quality matters? Uh, quality matters program uh, this is the rules how to construct or how to build this is a quality standard how you will build your online course who are the most prominent implementer of quality matters in the world we have these countries really they are implementing the quality matters standard and saudi arabia is one of them Saudi Arabia, really, the Ministry of Higher Education, they adopted the quality matter standard in building the online courses. We have here China, Australia, USA, and Canada. Every Blackboard has, even Blackboard also, Blackboard system or the company of Blackboard, has accommodated the standard of quality matters. Uh, we will see an overview here. The basic standards, a course overview and introduction, uh, learning objectives, assessment and measurement, instructional materials, accessibility and usability, course technology, learner support, and course activity and learner interaction. This is the view of quality matters. You should include in when you build your online course you should bid include a course overview and introduction uh, the course the course introduction determines the path which will be followed by the course allows the student to know what is expected from them and provide them with a guide that guarantees them a good start Beside the learning objectives, 
Then in objective, construct the foundation in which the rest of the course will be based on. Assessment and measurement is an essential part of any online course, really. The assessment is used in a way that doesn't only allow the teacher or the instructor to know the extent of students' mastery of the content, but also allows students themselves to measure their progress during the period of their learning of the course. Then it is important for both the instructor and the student. It means the student will know his level of achievement, really, and the instructor, he will uh, perceive the progress during the period of the learning uh, in the course. The instructional material, really the instructional material for is the essential part also, the very, very important part. It will form the core of the course. The standards here respect the teacher's right to choose them then it is upon, up to you what material you will select. This standard also pays attention to the materials alignment with the course objectives and competencies instead of taking care of giving qualitative judgment on the content of the material. Then this is the responsibility of the instructor to select his materials. Uh, course activities and learner interaction. It is important to make the course more interactive. Uh, you have to engage your student to become more interactive with your course. And the course technology. The easy to use the technology that makes various course elements available for student facilitate the student learning experience instead of being an obstacle in their progress path. Uh, learner support. The learner support standard addresses four type of support services you have to provide technical support academic support and student support services accessibility and usability this standard combines universal design of learning principle and is aligned with the guideline of reaching the online content And uh, now the answer here, basic online course, then we will summarize what we need now to be conformed to quality matter standard. For the start here, web page here, it will include a welcome message for your student the course overview, course tour, student guide, and you have to add an icebreaker. And here a course description, course guide, which include course description, instructor information, a course calendar, and learning resources, and course guidelines. Uh, the course lessons, which include the learning objectives, and you have to provide what we call learning roadmap. We will see what does it mean learning more roadmap, but essentially it will include materials, activities, and assessment. You have to provide material for each lesson activity for each lesson and assessment for each lesson. 